Hello everybody, Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today it's how to uninstall a washing machine. Now maybe you're uninstalling it because you're moving house, you want to take the washing machine with you. Or maybe you're just uninstalling it because it's broken and you're just making way to put a new one in. Right, let's get cracking. If you're uninstalling this washing machine so that you can install a new one, there's a link above now about how to install a new washing machine. Switch off and unplug the washing machine from the mains. Hopefully yours is this simple, mine isn't, and I'll show you that in a minute. And then you need to pull the washing machine out. Now be very careful not just to pull it out as far as you can, because obviously you've got drainage hoses and a cold water feed around the back. And you do not want to pull those too tight and damage any pipe work. Okay, the washing machine is now far enough out that I've got access to the back. Now on this particular washing machine, it is plugged in in a really hard to get place. And I cannot film this and remove it at the same time. But trust me, I did manage to get it out with a scrazed knuckle. And there's a link above now about how to keep your washing machine hygienically fresh. What we're going to do now is remove the cold water mains feed. So just locate the hose, track it all the way back to the mains cold water feed. and then just switch it off at the tap. Now take a small tray, because there might be a tiny bit of water come out, and just unscrew this anti-clockwise. Don't ever be tempted to use this cold water feed hose on a brand new washing machine, because they do deteriorate over time. Always use the one that is supplied with the brand new washing machine. And there's a link above now about what to do if your washing machine is not draining water. There's a small amount of water come out of there, but not too much. The next thing to do is remove the drainage hose. Now, this should be a fairly simple procedure. It's normally tucked onto a, a U-clip here. So just remove it out of there and take it out of your drainage pipe work. Now be careful, this might have a bit of gunge and water in it. To so just have a bucket or a tray ready. This one's a bit dirty, but there's no excess water. So that's the cold water feed hose and the drainage hose removed and it is unplugged. And now we're ready to put it on the trolley. Now, if you're taking this washing machine to a new property, then in an ideal world, you would put the transportation bolts back in. This basically stops the drum moving about, but how many people keep the transportation bolts? Just be a little bit careful if you're doing that and try not to bash it around too much. There should be some clips on the back of the washing machine. You can just clip your hoses into those while you're transporting it. If you're taking it to your local recycling center, it really doesn't matter. So just get it on the trolley and put it in your van and take it down there. And not into the countryside, which is called fly tipping. And this is the worst case of fly tipping I've ever seen in my whole life. What is wrong with people? And now it's time for a lovely cup of tea. Oh. Oh. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.